stay calm through the chaos. Welcome back to another weekend vlog. If you're new here, my name is Evangelise. And don't forget to subscribe while you're here. And if you're a returning watcher, it's Friday, March 22nd. This month pretty much flew right before my eyes. I really started to feel time is made up because like what is going on? What is going on? You guys watched the last um weekend's vlog i was with my mom we're prepping we're throwing like a little kitty mommy and me egg painting um little gathering so that is tomorrow i'm really excited what is this here okay thank you um i'm really excited because it's just like now that i'm my mom these are like the events that i've been looking forward to do like when I would say like, oh my god, I can't wait to do this and that. Like, yeah, I'd be seeing like the Kardashians. Think about the Kardashians, they know how to throw a kitty party. Like, all their kid parties, I'm obsessed with. Like, the themes, the decorations, like, their parties are just so top-notch. The decorations, like, you know what I mean? Like, that is what I aspire to do. Like, throw the most bombest kids parties. Last weekend, I did like a little light food shopping. I just want to get like last minute things that I didn't want to get last week because I didn't want it to sit. I'm going to head out and do that. And then when we come back, I want to take pictures of Abel. Look at this basket. My mom gave, like made Abel. So I'm about to head out. You guys, I got so easily irritated. Like just getting out the house. <sighs> I'm overstimulated. I'm just like feeding him a little bit of last minute milk just because I know it's around like, it's like 11 o'clock. So he's about to fall out. I just want him to be like full so that I could go and do what I need to do. The fact that it's cold is like irking me. Like, why is it cold? All right, you're done? Yeah, like he's getting fussy, so definitely time to go to bed. <laughs> Let's take a nap. Don't smile at me. Yo, like, I am not... God, I really need to be working on me because, like, men be smiling at me and, like, don't smile at me. Don't. Don't even look my way, please. <sighs> there was, like, a TikTok. It was, like, a girl was, like... Hold on, y'all know what She's like, you know why nobody like going out at night? Because there's men. That's it, because there's men outside. And that's a fact, except for the good men. But like, New York right now. Y'all saw the guy that like killed the twins because he got rejected? Like, what kind of coward sh is that? And like every time I walk outside, like you guys, I want the soft life of the suburbs. I don't want New York City anymore. I don't. I don't want to walk everywhere. I'm over it. I'm so over it. All right, but I'll catch you guys when I get to Whole Foods. I think I want to get the green one right here. And then we're just going to like put little rabbits and stuff. I wish they had a yellow one, like the, a bigger size, but that's mango. And this one is just like regular vanilla hi can i get the um the eight inch the green one at the bottom i feel like the sprinkles might throw it off but whatever the little bunnies will make it make up for it and he fell asleep i think i should get a bigger Then a 
another small strawberry. All right. I think that's fine. I should get this too. I'm gonna get this. For the salad, I'm just gonna get like a spring mix. Two of those. And then I'm gonna buy ice cream. Probably just do the, oh, I should do the half chocolate, half vanilla. For the ice cream. I should get the little waters here. Do I wanna carry that? I should also wait for Giovanni to get home so we can do, oh my gosh. Should I get these? These little cookies? I should've got the cart. I have this like little one. And then everyone's like looking at me and I'm like, it's just Canada. Like people are like looking because I have like a Canada hat on. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna get all that stuff and then wait for maybe Giovanni to get out of work so we could do like another supermarket run. Um, just so it's like easier and it, you know, I can't carry all this stuff by myself. So let's get out of here. I got a good amount here and then I have the cake on the bottom of the stroller. I made it upstairs, exhausted. So I had to like bring up the bags. He was sleeping, so thankfully I'm literally just a few steps away. So I had to like bring up the bag and the cake first and then I had to bring him upstairs. I bought this. Um, it's a strawberry peach mint kombucha from Whole Foods. This one is really good. I needed like a refresher. Okay. My kitchen is such a mess. That house is such a mess when I tell you. You were crying because you saw me drinking that and you wanted some. He wants everything. Like, he sees me eat, he wants it. He sees me drink something, he wants it. Like, I can't drink that. Y'all heard me complaining. I don't know what it is. I need to go pray. Like, I feel just so irritated today. So irked. Like, y'all heard me, like, complaining earlier. I need to go pray because I don't know like what it is with me like what's going on with me like why do I feel so like frustrated and like like when I feel so overstimulated or so over like I don't even know like I just get so frustrated I have to remind myself like I'm grateful I was able to just do go to the supermarket like buy food like that's something I have to be grateful for like I just always have to check myself and revert um but yeah like i'm just feeling like in a ugh mood right now i wanted to like beat the crowd when it's early and get like some stuff that we needed so i got like the fruits and the salad i need to go back out and get like the water for um well everyone i want to get the little ones so i want to get like two packs of those um so, but i'm gonna wait till giovanni gets home so when he gets here he can like help me carry everything just because i couldn't carry everything it was a successful run. I'm just gonna put everything away. I'm just gonna tidy up a bit and then I'm gonna pray and then I'm gonna like catch a moment to myself. I wanna put him back to sleep, but I guess he's up. He woke up the minute that we walked in through the door. Um, but I guess we were out for like an hour because I left at 11. So he slept literally automatically. The moment we left um, downstairs, he was sleeping. What was that? Let me get my life together because my house is giving me and that's what it is like when I see my space messy I get irritated um, I don't know if you guys would care to come with me again to like the supermarket when Giovanni gets here I don't know um, but I'm gonna catch you guys in a second you guys we're back i'm in a baggy white dirty t-shirt because i literally cannot stay clean like all my clothes end up getting dirty um but let's open grandma's basket yeah you can't eat this no let's show them what grandma got wow look how nice look how nice this is we're so great.
grateful for grandma. I'm so blessed to have a grandma that does all this. Wow. Thank you, mom. <laughs> I'm literally so dead. He has his own fitted. Let's show. Let's see. It's a little big. Look at all these Miffy toys. <gasps> wow. You have blocks. You have a Miffy book. And Miffy PJs. These are nice. Wow. Look at these, Papa. Oh, these are with caramel. Mommy's going to enjoy those. <laughs> these are like little chocolates. This is low-key a basket for me because I'm living. I have a nice Miffy pin. So cute. Ooh, look at these. I feel like he's going to love these. These are like the spinner toys. <gasps> yup. Stop that. You baby. Wow, these are really nice. Look at these. These are for our trip in the summer. Let me. The grass is distracting him. Look. Mira, papi. Oh, he's going for the toy. Let's rip it. Look at that. He like, girl. Oh my stars. Look at how stinking cute. And then look at this set. I'm telling you guys, Old Navy. How cute is this set? You're gonna die. You're going to die. Look how cute. <gasps> These little polo men's shoes. Oh my goodness, Pop. This is so cute too, look, like, with his little legs out. My mom wants him to call her Abu. She said the people in Puerto Rico, they say Abu for Abuela, like, Voy para la casa de Abu. But Abu, I told her, I was like, Abu is um the name of the monkey from Aladdin, like, Abu. It just doesn't roll off the tongue for me, so I don't know. And then my aunt, she wants um, Abel and the new twins to call her Mimi. I'm like, all these names I have to teach my son. Oh, my light went out. All, all these names, all these little nicknames. And it just doesn't roll off the tongue for me, so it's going to be hard. Like me, I grew up calling my grandma Mommy because she was like, no, no me llamen abuela. She doesn't like... I guess it made her feel like old, so we called her mommy. I never had like grandma, abuela, like we never did that. Like even with my mom, like I call her ma, like I'm like ma, ma. So I don't know if like if he was to like see me calling my grandma, like oh my god, I'm getting like. So his grandma, I don't know like what he's gonna do and what he's gonna call her because if he sees me calling her like yo ma, 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 I don't know if he's gonna be like ah. You want to call your grandma ma? But I'm mommy and mom. I'm always mommy. Guys, it even feels so weird sometimes where I'm just like, mommy, say hi to mommy. Like, I'm mommy. What? <laughs> I'm your mommy. I don't even believe it. He's like, girl, <laughs> believe it. Believe it. Because I'm your mommy. I'm your mommy. This is so cute. I just, you see, like, I just love baskets. I love basket season. I am a sucker for baskets. And these are, like, the other spin ones. It's so cute. Dressing a boy is fun. I honestly had, like, I was scared that I was not going to be able to find, like, no clothes or, like, no fits for him where did the top go but there's actually a lot of nice clothes for the boys i just love this basket you have it and you're like where'd it go wow those things are so good look how entertaining he is this is so 
confused with the black cracks I got you. My mom definitely outdid his own mother. <laughs> his grandma outdid his own mom for the Easter baskets. Like, I told my mom, I'm like, girl, you got to stop making me look bad because your baskets, your gifts be outdoing mine. Yeah, the grandmas are just going to always do it. Like, when you see those movies where it's like the grandma, grandma's here, and like grandma's outdoing it, grandma's ODing, grandma's spoiling to the max, grandma would not say no. That's what it's given with my mom. Like, what time is it? It's 3 o'clock. I'm going to call my mom. I cannot go a day without calling my mom. It's so funny, you guys. Like, our relationship has gotten so good. Like, I used to not want to be around my mom. Now I'm like, where are you going? I cannot call her. I cannot go a day without calling her, like, five times. She doesn't pick up the phone. You're not going to pick up our phone call? Like, what? <laughs> Let me eat one more. So good. Say, I'm from New York. New York. Not an under, under, under clips. But I'm from New York. All right, you guys. So we made it home. Um, a lot of running around today, just getting everything prepped for tomorrow. Just making sure everything is okay. You got everything. You just want to make sure you're like not running out. Um, you just want everything to be perfect for the kids. I'm just thinking like, okay, what if we run out of this one? It's just a lot, but I'm excited. Okay, so this is also a debate. Like now that I'm getting closer to God and like practicing my faith, like these holidays, how much we're not supposed to like glorify them. It's been really tricky for me because as a mom, like this is what I've been looking for, like forward to, like to do these cute things for my kids, to just like have all these little presents and these goodies and like getting kids together and throwing like these cute little parties or get get together so that they could create memories with each other and it's just like knowing that we're not really supposed to do that because it's just pagan holidays like that's I'm not gonna lie it's been really tough for me because I want to do this you know what I mean like I want to do that for Abel like when he gets older I want to give him baskets or like you know Christmas and things like that I'm not gonna lie it's been tough for me um, like letting go of like these worldly things. I just want him to look back because I look back on my childhood and when my mom did these things, like I'm so grateful. Like I used to look forward to them. I don't think I ended up being a bad person, you know? I don't know, you guys, like it's just been really conflicting. Like let me know as a mom, like what have you, like where have you stood? Totally off topic, but yeah, so I did as much as I can today, got as much as I can. If anything, I'll just get some last minute super early tomorrow, probably not. I told people to get there from two to five, so I have the space booked out for, um, so I want to get there like at one, give me like an hour to prep. I'm just going to get ready to wind down. I'm going to give him a bath and everything. I try to read to Abel at least every day or every other day, and I'm pretty excited because a father reached out to me. Um, he said his wife watches my channel. So if you're watching, thank you guys. He wrote his own children's book and he sent it over. He said Abel would enjoy it. So I'm pretty excited to have a new book in his collection that I could read tonight because child, my rotation, I kind of just do the same thing over and over again. But I'm excited to have a new book in his book collection so we're gonna read this tonight it's called look at all those pockets it looks like a fun um storyline and then the animation is pretty colorful so it's definitely gonna grab able attention so we're gonna do that and we're going to wind down i just want to relax just so that i'm at ease for tomorrow morning because i'm gonna wake up pretty early but let's wind down for the night <music>
Saturday morning. It is now 9-12. I'm about to start getting ready. Um, I want to be at my mom's around like maybe 12.30 so we can head over to my aunt's building. I'm trying to stay cool. Not get anxious. I get anxious for these things. And not be bossy. And boss Giovanni around. <laughs> and Abel here decided to wake up at 5 a.m. He was just too excited, huh? Too excited for your party. Let mommy start taking a shower. And let's get this going. All right, so I did my makeup and my hair. We blow dried it and put a little bit of waves in it. I'm just packing all of the fruit self uh, post it just so I don't forget the ice cream because I will do something like that. I have like um, ginger ale here. I'm going to make the salad over there. So I'm taking like the... I have the salad bowl. I was going to buy like the malumina for us, but I was like, let me just... Oh, I should take the tongs. Tongs. I don't know if I should take like this because for like pizza and stuff. I'm going to bring like a spatula because my aunt made big ziti, so like to cut it up. Um, this is about like Abel's first nap time too, so it's just like... I'm getting overwhelmed. So we're going to leave at 12 just because it's raining. Um, stay calm through the chaos. Okay. Um, I don't want to get dressed yet because I'm going to have, I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm just going to throw on some, I'm going to throw on my Solomons. Let me show you guys Abel's outfit. And on this top, I feel like it's so appropriate because it's like the painting and we're going to be egg painting. And then he has these little cute polo overalls, like denim pinstripe to go under that. And then he's going to wear these cute little New Balance 550s. These are like the Ame collab. Shout out to Lee for getting them for him. These are so cute. I couldn't wait till he was able to fit in and wear them. So yeah, I think his outfit is so cute today. All right, I'm going to show you guys my outfit real quick. Solomon's on old, literally so old H&M, like years ago. And then his diaper bag. It's cute. It's cute. Let's hold my hair last because I'm going to have to like wrap it up. Um, but yeah, super simple, super cute. Me and Ava are kind of matching because we have our overalls going on. So... Yeah, we're about to head out soon. I'll catch you guys in the car when everything's packed. So we made it. Like, I got the cake here and everything like that. I really, like, look at how much it's raining. I, don't get me started with the weather. I really hold my hair. stays up. stays cute. Y'all saw how cute it was, right? Nice and wavy. I really hope when I take it out, it's not like, but, whatever. Um, so yeah, we're on our way, um, just picking up a prescription real quick for my mom. Um, I, I want to show you guys, like I made, a. I want to show you guys, I made the invitation. I want you to see how cute it looks. Let me go to Canva. So they're invited to join Abel's Easter egg paint party. Really cute. I don't know if I, a few vlogs ago I was telling you guys Canva. As a mom, I highly recommend Canva because... This was just a template. Like, I just put in my information. Um, you can make your own invites. Like, if you go online and then you see any, like, inspo, like, sometimes you have to pay, like, $11, $12 just for, like, the e-digital. You can kind of make that yourself and just add your own touches to it. Um, like, I do everything with Canva. That's how I do, like, obviously my YouTube thumbnails and stuff like that. So, I need it and I pay for the subscription because, you know, I use it for, you know, the vlogs and stuff like that but it's just outside of that you can create so much like the invitations like even when he, when I start planning his birthday party I'm gonna do his invitation I'm probably gonna do like like the menu and stuff like that so highly recommend Canva you could get so creative with that probably gonna catch you guys when we get to the actual place because it's just a mission to just maneuver um, 
with Abel, the stroller, all the stuff we have to carry, and then um, the rain. Like, I'm so bummed about the rain, you guys. But it's okay. The show goes on. The show goes on. Okay, so this is the space. You can't see because it looks off, but so we're gonna put all the kids over here. Got a little outside view, got a little seating area for adults or whatever. I'm gonna put like a TV for this. So yeah, let me get to setting up. <laughs> So I got like these little like canvas things. So I'm gonna put them like in each case spot. So yeah, so like that I was saying, like in the beginning it was nice because it was like basically we can do what we want because there was like nobody in the building, but then as more of these started moving. Because it's like 140, and I told people to be here at 2, and friends are saying they're gonna be here at 220. Oh, this this, the, these fruits are for the shift kebabs? No, the oranges are for the salad. Let me show you the video of how the shish kebabs are supposed to look. I'm making these little centerpieces. So you shouldn't have those done in them. Like, what I'm doing. Got it going in here? Yeah. But I'm, I'm doing it with honey balsamic. Oh, so make sure you smother it.
shop Holly and put it on my What the, the, you saw the thing? I sent you that. It, it, click on that and tell you how they tell you how to get there. You saw it. such a vision of like showing everything but popped a nail like but throwing a kids party <laughs> yo it was stressful pop you had a good time you had a good time puppy for your first party you had a good time but it was so cute i'm so happy how it came out though i have more than enough for like the food for the kids that was just like such a worry of mine to make sure that everyone had like enough arts and crafts everyone had like enough juices the, for the adults waters like all that stuff i'm not gonna lie joanna was like you turned into a little like event zilla like <laughs> bride zilla vibes i was like because i was just getting so overwhelmed because we booked the spot for one to five so i told people to come at two like i told you guys so it was like 150 and i'm like still not done like my aunt came i'm like you gotta do the fruit shish kebabs i had to do the salad but it was so so cute all the kids like i was able to get a group photo of the kids um oh look see let me put you down a little bit some of my friends brought abel a little gift like how sweet oh my gosh look you got some nike suits and Oh, this is so cute. We have to do this this week, puppy. Maybe we could do this tomorrow. Oh, this is so cute. Little mask for mommy. I actually really like this one, the Dr. Jart one. Oh my gosh, and look at this teaser. Oh my goodness. Look at how stinking cute. I think this is from Patty. Patty girl, this is so cute. With the Snoopy in the back, I'm obsessed. But yeah, it was so, so fun. I'm so happy. Like, it's like these little kids, 
their smiles like honestly like it makes me feel good like seeing the kids happy and like even the moms like it's a place for the moms to get together you know having something to do for their kids like i'm just so happy i'm just so happy i didn't get to look at all the footage i got but i was able to get like some stuff and like some of the photos let me see and like that's the thing like when you have a kid's party you literally need a designated person to take the photos because it is so hard to get all the kids together get all the kids it was like all of them with their ears like it was just so cute space worked out like everyone had like yeah it was just so much fun we have so much food left over so i'm gonna like put stuff away he is so cranky because he didn't get no nap in today my hair is fried um and when the party finished, that's when it stopped raining. Go figure. But I was so overwhelmed, you guys. Like, <laughs> throw at a kid's party is not for the week. It's not for the week. Look at you have little toys. Float and play bubbles. Oh, bath time. Good, because you don't have any bath toys yet. Look at how cute, puppy. <gasps> wow. And it's like, you know, when you're at your own party, like, you barely eat. Like, I was, like, running on, like, shh, fruit juice, fruit juice, adrenaline, like, making sure everybody's okay. Like, you need to see, like, when a party's under my name, like, I can't, like, I have to be like, yo, you want this? You want that? Like, I just be giving, 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 because you're not about to be thirsty, hungry, under my watch. Like, absolutely not. But let me pick up, because we just was able to bring all the bags upstairs happy sunday you guys um four o'clock i haven't been on all day because i've just been home just like relaxing kind of just being lazy oh so much static in my hair um i'm getting ready to head to my grandma's since this is basically like her last Sunday being in this old apartment. I'm just fixing my mirrors. Um, the fam wants to get together, like my cousin, my mom, my aunt, and just like eat in the crib, like a last supper type of thing. Um, so I'm heading over there to do that. Giovanni's out with Giovanni. Jo what? <laughs> Abel's out with his dad. Um, Giovanni's going to meet like one of his friends and they're going to go out to eat i just rather have not taken abel just because i feel like um it's so much boxes it's gonna be kind of tight and there's honestly a lot of dust in the house just because um we're moving everything and you know it hasn't really been cleaned for a while so i just didn't want to deal with that so i'm just gonna head over there this weekend was pretty, for the most part, chill, aside from Abel's party. That was like the most eventful thing going on for me this weekend. Um, so it's definitely giving like Sunday vibes where we're just going to be like with the family. I'm just so happy that she gets to move and start all over again. And like, you know, she's by herself. She doesn't have my grandfather anymore. And, you know, it's it's so different. Like, I know my grandfather would have been so excited to move with her, like, to this new building and have a new beginning because my grandfather, like, he was so, like, so lively. Like, he loved to be outside. He loved to do things. He loved to, you know, he was so active. And you could tell, like, he really didn't want to pass away. It was, he passed away from, like, you know, heart problems. But my grandma, she's so inside now just it's just not the same and i can definitely tell the reason why she was outside was because my grandfather was just like no we're gonna be outside and it's just like i know he would have loved to have this new apartment with her but it's okay like i'm sure like this new apartment is a fresh start for the whole entire family my mom literally works down the block from my grandma like because my mom grew up on this block. Like, my other grandma, my dad's mom, lives on this block. Like, this is a block where my mom and my dad met. And then there was me. <laughs> and then, you know what I mean? Like, it's just 
so much history but like i think everyone has to come to terms with like even my aunt and everything like they grew up here and all that stuff but it's, it's just time it's just time to part ways with this place and i'm really excited and happy for her i look forward to the new memories in like this new um place for her you know it's a senior building so it's it's definitely like senior friendly like this light glare on you guys it's definitely senior friendly because like when you go in the bathroom there's the bars like all the rooms i'm annoyed you guys have to see that light yeah so like in every room there's like the pull string like for emergency like if they need like um like an assistant to come in so it's it's good you know and they have a recreation room they're gonna have like little events so she could get to socialize and like talk to people definitely always keep in tabs and check in on your grandparents your great aunts you know just the elderly people in your life that took care of you and that were there for you and supported you and carried you through childhood because she's she was like my second mom you know so and i thank god because you know it's a new season it's a new season and it's a new season for everybody to get accustomed to it so i'm really excited about that okay, we're gonna sit i'm gonna sit well you have to control the, the interview like exactly. you say maybe it's like, this journey started and I, you want me to start because i can yeah. start yeah she and, then, and then you guys see like what i'm saying are you okay, Jonathan? We are moving everything. Look at how like antique this um this bed frame is like thick wood, like from the eighties. My hand is so loud. I'm just capturing our lives. So what I think he's doing is going to be interviewing one by one, like people, I guess, what you guys feel, how we came here. Well, it's here. like at the end of our era, so to speak, yeah, because like, uh, we were here for 40 years. We live here 40 years. You guys were raised here, born and raised here, to you can say. I'm going to get something tight. So, don't make me look fat. Exactly, because I, that's too much of my face. <laughs> Turn off the right, fan. Right, that's what they said? Turn off the fan. Okay. Thank you. Okay, whatever it is. Uh, the What's in there? Director? Is that what you're doing? Okay. You brought the food. I did. Please. Thank well, you. Well, they went together and I ordered it. So that's what it was. Thanks for supplying the... Yes. Yeah. I think you will be happy to see how far we have come. Things have not been the same. The meaning of this apartment goes deeper than I don't even know how to explain it. So there's a, a you growing up here in an Upper West Side, uh, just particularly the Upper West Side. How well, this this neighborhood was very very dangerous, but as dangerous as it was, I never felt unsafe. I don't know if that makes sense because we grew up in a very bad era. A lot of uh, drug addicts, drug infested, you know, um, blocks and stuff like that. But, you know, like, I don't know if this had to do with Papi, but a lot of people respected him and they knew that we were his kids and they know that we were different. It's just to capture what we're all going through in this moment because as much as it seemed like this, this is just another point in life, this will never happen again. And almost like it will never be here. In this house together again, which we all grew up in. So, you're gonna have to ask me questions now. They don't care about the well being of the individual, it's all about the finances. Right now, this apartment it will become probably a two bedroom apartment, mm -hmm. and it's gonna go for $3,500, $3,800, and there will be someone that's gonna live here. When you think about gentrification, how did that make you feel about? Uh, about the changes that it made to this neighborhood and and to you. Listen, I would say it's good in a way. Why? Because my sister is an example. We, she works in the school that we went to. That it was just an okay school. But guess what? My sister now is dealing with the 
top of the crop, the one percenters are talents, right? Because there's a privileged school. They have talented, gifted programs. You understand? So it does bring good things to the community. But at the same time, it's not given to those that are still here much. It'll always be home. It's the, yeah, it's my home. Mm -hmm. I was I was 12 years old when I, when I came here. And I was 14 years old when I moved into this apartment. Then we came to live with her. And even my cousin, 107, because there's nothing else. If you know, it's you know. It's not her. It's not the apartment anymore. And then it's not going to be. Okay, so it's my turn. I'm gonna do it in our room. <laughs> but you got the questions for me? Um, they just come off the top of my head. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna cry. I was already crying watching everyone else's stuff. This is like therapy session. Christopher, come on. Sunset is about to happen. Ella tenía tres años y entonces salió para afuera. Aquí venía mucha droga y todo. Entonces ella, yo la vestí bien linda. Y esa niña se salió. No, no, déjame. Entonces salió corriendo detrás hasta allá y un vendedor de droga. Yo sé cómo se llama él. Fue que la pudo coger. Yo le, yo le hice el pelo porque yo le hice este. Yo le daba prueba a esa niña de tres años, ¿verdad? Y yo me sentaba en la mesa ahí. Sin importarle, no era de tres años con Brower. Wow. This very room no, right here. Come on, mami. <laughs> This very room right here, I grew up in because I was born in North Carolina. I was born in the Marine base. And then I came here when I was two years old. My mom, um, she left my dad. So she came back home. And there was always space for anyone who wanted to come here. Like, it, it's a small apartment, but like Judy San said, like, open arms for everybody. It doesn't matter if there's like eight of us, find a spot. And it was like me and my mom. <clears throat> We were on a twin bed here. I would remember like my mom waking up super early to go to work. And I like literally remember like sleeping here, like smelling her shirt. She worked in like Century 21 before like the original Century 21, and I would like smell her shirt, and then I'd be like, why she left, and like kind of sad, and then I remember like later in the day she'll come home, but I don't remember much of my time here, and then I know we moved across the street to Yaita's house for a little bit until, you know, my mom got her own place to East Harlem, so we went from west to east, and this place is like headquarters of my childhood because it was mainly me and the twins Jonathan Christopher like we would be raised here and my grandma would take care of all three of us at once and then now being a mom and like sometimes I struggle with Abel like I just don't know how she did it with like all three of us and like feeding us on time everyone gets their own bottle she remembered that Christopher liked it a certain way. I wanted it cold. Jonathan maybe wanted it medium warm. And like she would do that for like every single person, like every single child. Like we had a little table. Everyone had their food. We would eat together. The twins always fighting. And then I would just be there in the middle. Like, I would still fight with the twins. Like I didn't have no sisters or anything, but like they were like my brothers and like I would just fight with them and like play with them. I really feel this place honestly is like why i feel i'm honestly creative like in my mind imaginative just because of like we would play we would have our toys we would pretend that we were like in movie scenes and we would put like belts and like stash the toys in our belts and while we're putting our belts like the toys in our belts were like doom, 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 doom. like pretend they were in a movie so it's just like every detail like we would just bring it to life like we would like pretend we're sitting in the living room we we'll put orange juice in like champagne glasses pretend we were like grown be like oh no you can't drink this mind you i'm talking to like a figurine pretending that's the child i'm like this is grown people juice and i'm like drinking it and then like Even in this room, it was like a full bed. We'll all sleep here. It was like an everywhere. There was like no phones. TV was what it was, when it was, those channels. And you know, like now even like seeing 
that quiet on set documentary about that show like we lived off of all that remember watching the amanda Bynes show and everything like watched that? That yeah. it just came out but like we watched the amanda um the amanda show mm -hmm. all that like all those shows we we would sit around mommy's bed and just watch on one tv we would play like gamecube and like fight over like mommy Ellos dijeron que yo no puedo jugar. And they're like, deja que la nena juegue. ¿Verdad, mami? Yeah. <laughs> I had a really good childhood. We were close to Central Park. And like now see, that is such a luxury to say that you live near Central Park, that you live near Riverside and stuff like that. And like before, we would just go on our Razor scooters, the, the slinky metal ones, and just go down there. What do you think about this home and when you come to this home? How does it make you feel and what will you miss most about I know I know memories are made just in person and stuff but but just the idea of this home and Papi being here and Papi living here do you feel as if this home you're connected to this home or like does this home have a lot of sentimental value to you and how do you think you'll move forward from all that? You asked a lot in right? one and question. Right? I can't be asking all those I'm not a fucking interviewer. Yeah, you got to do one. Um, but so from the gist of it, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a try to include all of that in there. But basically, this place holds a lot. I feel like it's like a time capsule from the 80s, 90s, thousands, you know? You come in here, you found something of every... Because she kept toys, Barbies, clothes, you know? pictures we have so many physical pictures so it's like when you come in here you feel that the culture the memories the history and you know i'm super proud of them for coming starting their legacy of, which is us and starting that here and giving my mom that opportunity to come to new york and you know because i don't know what my mom would have been if she would have stood in puerto rico you know what i mean and like being who my mom is now like i'm so proud of what she came from and what she made from what my grandparents gave her. I'm super grateful for these walls and the memories we built and like the roof over all the people that lived in here, everyone's heads that it was able to supply and you know, all the food she cooked in here and you know, like they were at peace, they felt comfort here. But as I got older, I think I turned into I would hate to say it, but like, I don't want to say I would, I would get upset or like disgusted or just like, I would just get upset that like over time management would not upkeep and would not maintain this, this space for my grandparents because they just didn't care. They just kind of wanted to buy her out and let her move out so that they could just make it, you know, like they said, for the luxury buildings, for new, um, generations to come in so after a while coming here i will get you know pretty frustrated at like the living conditions and the fact that they won't maintain like you know the rodent situation even looking in the corner i just see like that hole and that's definitely where Mom mice will through. come through and and you see, know right just don't that they maintain, don't care about uh, there's definitely mold within these walls after a while we'll come here and i would be upset that you know we would go out in our life and like they stood stuck in like a time frame. Like this apartment stood stuck in like its 90s and 80s era because it was just never updated and maintained. So like as much as I'm sad that we are ending our ever here, I'm just so happy for her and our family to have new memories in a open, clean, updated, renovated, new appliances space, you know? That's perfect. Yeah. You hear, you hear what you Good morning, you guys. Um, yeah, it's the next day. It's Monday morning. Um, it was a little rough night because Abel like woke up at four, and he just started like throwing up. I think he probably over ate, over drank, um, on my breast milk. So he was like waking up from four on and off. And like he just had like diarrhea, so I don't know if it's like a stomach bug because I know there's like a stomach bug going around. So, yeah, it's been a morning, such a morning, but he's feeling okay now. Um, he's just like crawling around. He's like energized. He's been like talking. Um, but yeah, and Giovanni's working from home, so we're all home together. Thank God because I was so tired. He had to like take over in the morning because I just 
my eyes burn so much but i want to do um i know i showed you guys like one of my um friends she gave abel this in his little like gift bag so it's just like a canvas that comes already made and then like you put white paint on their feet and you give them like the bunny ears i like that it kind of comes already done so i want to do that today i probably want to make like a cute tiktok over it as well um but that's about it what i have planned for monday it's such a monday vibe it's so cold outside like i feel like i'm back in winter and you know it's spring so maybe we'll do that after his morning nap and then i'll check in with you guys when um he wakes up so <laughs> relax your feet literally all fell asleep like for how long like two hours after we did like our arts and crafts to start our dinner for tonight well actually it's giving leftover big city and then i'm gonna head on and start editing this vlog so i could get it out for you guys so with that being said i want to thank you guys for watching and supporting us and continuously showing love stay tuned for the next vlog love you guys